keep forgetting to fix that. Hello, everybody. How you doing? So, I'm pretty sure everybody in the universe has pretty much seen a Kindle book at some point in their life or seen a device or is reading this stuff on their mobile devices. Um, and over the past few weeks, I've been seeing some weird stuff um, about not being able to buy books from the devices and all this kind of stuff. So we're going to talk about it. This is this is a thing that like has been pop popping around for a little while, but I hadn't seen it. And then I saw it on one thing. And then just last night, very late, um, I saw it in the other place. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to clear up where you can, where you can't, and what your options are as far as buying um, Kindle content for your Amazon Kindle device. So come on, let's dive in, shall we? Okay, so uh, those of you who know me, IRL, like I have always been a voracious reader. I always have multiple books going at a time. Um, and so the Kindle was kind of, you know, a gift from the heavens for me because instead of having to carry around all these gigantic books, because sometimes I'm doing tech stuff, which tends to be thick. Sometimes I'm just reading for entertainment or research or whatever. Um, but I'm not afraid of like the thousand page books, which are a little heavy. Um, that said, I still do read traditional books. Um, but I like having the option. I like being able to read basically wherever I am. So um, this is one of many, I have several, not many, several Kindle devices, but I also read them on my phone, on desktop, on my Chromebook, I, everywhere. So when I started to see all of the chatter around not being able to buy Kindle content, not just books, but any Kindle content, um, from the device, I really started to get worried. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? And with a little bit of research, you know, okay, it seems that, uh, you know, there's reasons for it, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, but it's not as widespread as it sounds when people first start talking about it. And of course, you know, the clickbait headlines, which I love so much. Uh, so basically there are people who are never going to see this problem because of how they're currently buying their Kindle content anyway today. The people who will see it will be shocked by it. So let me just show you uh, real quick what you're going to see when you do run into this problem. Uh, let me switch over here, I want that one. Okay, is that, yeah, that's big enough. Okay, so this is, this is what, this is from the actual um, Kindle app itself on my mobile phone. And you'll see two things that start to pop up when you go to look to get new content. And it's that and this piece here. So it says, this app does not support purchasing Kindle books to buy, visit amazon.com slash ebooks. And then underneath the add to list, it says, why can't I buy Kindle books? And what that does is it takes you through a series of uh, pages that explains what's going on. And right off, they start with the source of the problem. To remain in compliance with Google's updated uh, Play Store policies, readers will no longer be able to buy or rent Kindle books or subscribe to Kindle Unlimited through this app. You can always add to your library by buying or renting books through Amazon.com in a web browser. Um, and then it walks you through the process. So I, I grabbed all the pages so you see and it walks you through and then of course being amazon you know there is the obligatory uh kindle unlimited plug there if you are going um and looking at content from the amazon app on your mobile device it's the same kind of thing but you know of course the layout is a little different so you know you're in here you're doing this i know not dark mode right what's wrong with me so here again, it's the same text, just in a different place. This app does not support purchasing this content, you know, and then why. And then when you click on the why, it's exactly the same content that I just showed you on the other view. So that's what's happening. What this is, to make it very clear, is you are no longer able from the Kindle app or the Amazon store app on your mobile devices you're not able to buy Kindle content. If you are, however, buying it already on your Kindle device, right? 
or if you are already just using like the web browser from your desktop or on your phone to buy your Kindle content, you're not going to see any problem because those are fine. This is strictly app related, specifically through the App Store, the Google Play Store. Now I say that and everybody's going, oh, well, Apple, well, guess what? There's a problem on Apple side too. So basically what's happening is Google is pulling an Apple. <laughs> that, that's, that's the cleanest way I can give you to explain this, right? Because you, you've probably heard over time, if you're not an Apple user, there's this constant butting of heads with Apple, their App Store and the developers because they take a gigantic bite and they want to, you know, the, the whole thing with Apple is a lock ecosystem, which, you know, good and bad, like anything else in the world. Um, but they really lock it in when it comes to the app store, because they don't want anybody getting content from anything other than that. And they give reasons for it that are not, not lies they're, they're you know, there's truth about, you know, they verify them and all that kind of stuff. However, that's sort of the secondary benefit, right? The real benefit for them is they get a big chunk of the money that way, right? And that includes subscriptions and all that kind of stuff. It's all income for Apple. And now Google's gone that way, which I'm frankly kind of disappointed. I'm more than kind of disappointed because that's always been the thing with Google is they were sort of the anti-Apple when it came to that kind of stuff. So I'm a little confused why they're doing this. I would also expect that we are going to see this show up in more places, but this hit home for me because like I said, I read all the time. I mean, I just love the fact that I can have Kindle books on my phone and be standing, you know, in line or waiting for something uh, like I have to bring Murphy for a grooming appointment tomorrow. I fully expect I'll be sitting in the parking lot reading a Kindle book while I'm waiting for him to be done. Uh, so this is sort of a, a big deal. And it is a departure from Google playing nice with the apps in the app store. So that's what this is about. So if nothing else, take away from this, the fact that this is only about the mobile devices. If you're doing it from your Kindle device or from the web browser anywhere, the web browser on your phone, the web browser on a desktop, a laptop, a Chromebook, anywhere, you're fine. You're not going to see any of these issues. Matter of fact, I can show you. Let me bring this up. Come on, open up. And I don't unlock. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see this. I meant to screen cap it and I didn't get a chance. But if you look at this, you'll see this happens to be a pre-order for an author I read a lot. But I can just go ahead and I can pre-order it and it goes through fine. It's not a problem. So the the purchase pro uh, process or subscription or whatever it is that you do on your Kindle is the same from the Kindle devices. No problem, no change. Um, no problem, no change from any web browser, including from your mobile device. This is strictly if you're using either the Kindle um, app on your mobile device or the Amazon app on your device. So there's an extra, it doesn't mean that you can't make the purchase. It just means that there's an extra step and I'll, I'll walk you through that in a second. Um, but first, um, I just want to remind you that if, when we all run into that, you know, blank page, flashing cursor block, um, I have, hello, I have a document that is available for you for free. It's a PDF download um, that has 130 content ideas. So if you create content in any way, shape or form on social, if you're doing live streams, if you're doing recorded video, if you're writing blog posts, anything at all, um, feel free to go ahead and get it. There is no cost. There are no strings to this. This is something I created for me, um, shared with some friends, and now I'm giving it to my friends out there. Uh, so just go to yourtechcoach.net content ideas. Uh, you just have to put it in your email address so that it can get mailed to you and you can go ahead and make use of that document. And for those of you who ask, no, it is not tech specific. It is generic topics that anybody can use. So please don't hesitate. Go ahead, make use of that. Okay, so let's get back to this fun party that we're having. Let me just, I want to scroll down. Okay, so you saw on, let me bring that back up again. So the recommendation that you get from the Amazon, why am I having this problem information is that you should go to amazon.com um, slash ebook, which is fine. Like, I mean, that, yes, that works if you're looking for an ebook, right? So that takes you directly to the Kindle books section. However, if you're like me, you get other stuff, right? You can get magazines, you can get newspaper subscriptions, like you can get other stuff from the Kindle store. So in the description um, 
wherever you're watching this, I put in a slightly different link that will take you a level up to just be able to purchase Kindle content. So that is amazon.com forward slash Kindle store. Um, but I put the link there in the description because that way you can just click on it from your mobile device and get right to it um, and purchase it right from your um, browser. So it just, it, it either way is fine. It's just, it's a little hard, particularly on mobile to get back from the e-store e to uh, the ebook store to the higher level. Uh, they need to work on that UI a little bit, personal opinion. Um, so that's why I wanted to give you that other link. <laughs> oh, thank you. You, I guess this is Murphy approved. Gee, we haven't heard from that country in a long time. Okay. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I guess maybe Murphy's mad at Google. I don't know. Are you mad at Google? Is that the problem? Do you think Google shouldn't have done this? Yeah. I, I agree. I agree. I don't know why, what the heck they're doing. Okay. Okay. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about here is, you know, so like I said, when I started hearing about this, I kept looking and I'm like, I'm not having this problem. So then I thought maybe it was regionalized because there are regionalized issues going on around Kindle and well, basically everything in the world. But let's, let's say focus on Kindle. Just as an example, this is not tied to this discussion, but I just want to give an example of why I was confused at first. Um, there is an announcement that Amazon is pulling the Kindle content from China. So I think in 30, for the next 30 days, people can download their books to their device and keep using the device to read things they've already purchased, but you will no longer be able to buy Kindle content in China in any way, shape or form. Um, literally, I just saw that before I went live. So I don't have a lot of details on that, but that's just an example of, yes, there are occasionally regional issues around this kind of stuff. Um, and then, you know, either they resolve it or they don't, but that that's the kind of stuff that. I love the mute button. Um, OK, so this is not that right. So this is very specific to the platforms. Right. So, like I said, uh, Apple is also pulling this kind of stuff, but now Google is doing it. And so we're seeing on the Google stuff that you are not able to go do this. but. I've been seeing this for weeks and I wasn't seeing it. So you may, as of whenever you're watching this, if it's fairly close to the recording date, um, which is the beginning of June uh, 2022, uh, you may not have this problem. Or if you're way in the future, hi future, uh, you may let's go be able to go back and do it again because maybe things will have resolved themselves but there is going to be at least this period coming right now um, when you're going to start running into this and the key seems to be when you get pushed the update to the app that has that block in it so on the let me make sure i got this right on the amazon store that was the first place on the amazon store app on my phone that was the first place that i saw these messages that were coming up bring this back up again. So that was the very first time that I saw it. And that was only a couple of days ago. And then late last night, early this morning, because I'm a night creature, um, that's when I saw that there was an update being loaded on my phone for the, I'm doing this backwards, aren't I? I'm trying to remember which one I saw first. I saw it first. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I saw it first on the App Store app, sorry. I'm trying to get the order straight for history. Um, so on the Amazon app, the Amazon Store app on my phone, that was the first place I saw this, why can't I buy? And I was like, oh, okay. But then when I went and checked um, through the Kindle on my phone, it was fine until about two o'clock this morning. Um, and that's when I got this version, which said, oh no, sorry, you, you can't pre-order this from Terry because of this. So it's happening it's rolling out not everybody is seeing it at the same time but eventually in the next few weeks it's going to update on everybody's devices and that's where we're all going to be so let's talk about what are your options do you have options so you do like i mentioned in the beginning um you can absolutely still go ahead and purchase your kindle content through the browser on your desktop, your laptop, your Chromebook, your mobile device. You're good there. All of that is absolutely normal. You can absolutely, there's the proof. Okay, you can still buy things directly from your Kindle device. You're golden there, which makes sense, right? Because they own those. And they own the software. It's all it's all Amazon at that point. Did I say Apple? I meant Amazon. Um, if, 
however, you're like me and you do this out and about on a fairly regular basis, you'll be talking to somebody, they'll be talking about a book. And so you open your phone, you open your Kindle app and you do it there because maybe you don't carry your Kindle device on it. Uh, on you all the time. Um, I run hot and cold with that. Depends on whether or not I'm carrying a big bag or a small bag. What you can do, the workaround that I, that's how I tested the thing for uh, Terry Brooks, is you can still go to the, let me bring this back up. You can still go to the apps, either the store or the Kindle app, and you can add that book to your list. So that's something we've always been able to do, right? You can download uh, sample chapters, you can add it to your list, that kind of thing. And those things are still there. So that's sort of the workaround, the easier workaround, if you are out and about and you don't wanna take the time to open up your browser, find the link I'm giving you in the description or manually type in amazon.com yourself in your browser. Like sometimes you just don't have time for that. So what you can do is you go in, you find it you know, in the, App Store, uh, in, the, in the App Store, in the Amazon app on your phone or on your Kindle app on your phone um, and just add it to your list or, you know, do the chapter thing to your Kindle device. Then when you have a moment, you can, when you're back home, get on your laptop or your computer or whatever, or on your Kindle device, go into your list, find the book and purchase it that way. So essentially it's an extra step. There's a little bit of time lag. Um, if you absolutely need to do it for your, your mobile device, just open up your browser and, and shop that way. But those are your best options for doing this going forward. And it's fairly simple and straightforward. So it's not, it's not that you can't buy it at all. It's just that you can't do it from the apps anymore. Hopefully this will get resolved at some point. So I, I know it, it, it's, it's frustrating. I understand. And I, you know, this is where... You know, I gets my Irish up a little bit. Um, I can say that I'm Irish. I don't like when these companies use us as pawns and that's exactly what's happening here, right? The two of them are fighting and we're caught in the middle. Does not make me happy. Terrible user experience, pisses me off on both sides, even though technically it's not Amazon's fault. I'm still pissed off because I can't easily do what I want to do. That said, you know, we're grownups. This is the way the world works right now. So at least we still can use our devices. Uh, at least we can still get the stuff. It's just um, an extra step if you are on mobile. Um, and if you are, I mean, basically, I don't do a lot of, I'm just ch checking myself. Is that true? No, that is true. I don't really buy a lot of books through the Kindle app or I, not through the Kindle app on my phone. I do do it through the, um, well, I would, used to do it through the Amazon um, store app on my phone. But most of the time I do it, like I make a note of whatever book um, and then I go and do a little more research about it uh, because I, I have a thousand books waiting to be read. Uh, that's the one downside about, you know, when, when when you've got the physical books piled up, you know, it reminds you, okay, don't buy any more books. You've got stuff to read. <laughs> it's so easy with the digital stuff. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, oh my God, look at all the stuff I've got to read. Um, I mean, it's good news because I, I like it and I will churn through it, but um, it, it that physical reminder is sometimes helpful for me. So it's just an extra step, I guess, is the way to look at it um, if you are using the apps. Uh, but if you are strictly using the Kindle device and or a web browser to do this kind of stuff, you will never even see any sign of this. It, it will be completely hidden from you because it is not affecting any of those things. All right. So that's what I have for you. It's hopefully mostly good news because at least you still can get your stuff. Um, it's just a little quirk for the time being. Um, as always, if you have any questions, if you need help, um, if you have comments, um, obviously you can do it right in the comment sections wherever you're watching this. You can also reach out to me at yourtechcoach.net. Um, you can ask questions. I will try to help as much as I can there. Um, you can also hire me to do help. Um, I help wherever I can. If we can get our schedules to line up, um, there is a fee for that. Uh, and you can also submit uh, questions, right? Or ideas, topics for future shows, because that's where most of the good content comes from. So feel free to reach out um, anytime there. Um, and you will always be able to do that <laughs> from your mobile device, your uh, wherever, wherever you are. So there you go. Hello, Floyd. How are you? Yeah, I just, this is the kind of thing, like, I want to get out there because, you know, especially like, you know, when I'm going into this kind of stuff and I'm like, I'm confused about what's going on and why they're saying these things and I'm not saying it. Now it's starting to make sense. It's a rollout. Um, and hopefully, like, you're 
if you do use the Kindle devices, hopefully you're not going to be affected by it if, you know, you're not already using the apps in order to make those purchases. But that's what I'm here for. I like to share the wealth, share the topics uh, and do the research to save you the time. <laughs> that's basically my purpose on this planet. Uh, all right. So thank you all. I, I hope you find some good Kindle content to read over this weekend. And um, I will see you again next week. I'm here every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I hope you can come and join us live sometime, but if not, you are certainly welcome to put your comments and questions into the uh, comment section wherever you're watching. Take it easy, everyone. Oh, Floyd, thank you. Okay, I have to put this on because it made me feel good, and I kind of needed that today, so thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm glad to have you folks, too. All right, everybody, have a good one. Uh, we will talk again soon. Bye. Magic button time. Thank you.